The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. By some accounts, L.A. Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. Looking at a man who's about to come face to face with his greatest nightmare. Unfortunately for him, this is one nightmare you can't wake up from. You've got to live through it. Cody will make sure of it. And we know Cody has adrenaline coursing through his veins, giving rise to the power that is the American nightmare. Rhodes is writing new chapters for his family's legacy, and before it's all said and done, Cody could become the icon of the Rhodes family. Cody can quicken the pace, wrestle to the mat, or let the fist fly anytime he chooses, thanks to some Texas outlaw in his blood. And he's facing off against one of the biggest egos in WWE, L.A. Knight. While well, there's no shortage of confidence in L.A. Knight, Corey, he's earned every ounce of it. He spent years honing his abilities to become the paragon of a superstar we see him ring. Boom! What a close line! Way to steer clear. He must have seen that coming. And another counter. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Cody Rhodes is extremely passionate. And that could be a hindrance in certain situations, right, Corey? Not passion so much as emotion. Cody's no hothead, but he can get lost in the moment, and that's when you have to strike. The moment will be fleeting, but it does happen from time to time. Caught with the Lariat. Rhodes turns it around. Belly to back suplex coming. No! Oh! Incredible pressure being put on Rhodes. Cody getting lost in the moment and struggling to control his emotions. And it's coming into play in the worst way. He's getting a little better now. Yeah, as Cody clearly came into this fight with something to prove. Just look at him now. Able to reverse. Oh, right in the jaw. What on earth is coming next? Taking out the arm, great strategy. Placed in the corner. Wards off that offense from Cody. Uh-oh. He's returning fire. Oh, God, I'll rearrange 
Razor Skull. Will this be enough? And the ref stops the count. And he goes for the pin! Kick out before the one count. Could be in search of a second win now. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Oh, my God. Superhuman power. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oh, Cody anticipated that. A striking blow. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Look out! Suicide dive! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Pedigree by Rhodes! This match is filled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Good golly! Caught by surprise with that clothesline. And he tosses it back in now. Cody looking for the win. Crossroads! Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. Cover! There's two! No, he beats the count! Unreal! kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. No love lost between these superstars right now, really trying to prove who the better man truly is. You can't take much more of this. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. From behind, chop block. And Knight puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Brief sign of adrenaline from L.A. L.A. Knight kick to the gut. L.A. Knight with the B.F.T. Two count, kicks out, just kicked out. Cody Rhodes with a defiant kick out, simply refusing to stay down. Just dished out his most devastating offense. And you gotta be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. From the top, jump kick, missile style. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. What impact. Lights out. DDT connects. Had that one scouted. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. And there's LA Knight with more offense. And Cody might need to find space to regroup. Toss back into the ring. Almost inhuman at this point. Well placed, he dropped to the skull. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Working the midsection there. He's got him in the crosshairs. Whoa! Whoa! Suicide dive! Toss Caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Holy, meet the barricade. He has an answer for Rhodes. Close one.
dropping the knee. Clearly waiting for that. Oh, put down face first. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, counts running out. Coming back in the ring. Rhodes showing his opponent how confident he is. He beats the count, and this one continues. He had it scouted. Oh, off the rope. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. Cody Rhodes hooks him up with the controls. Is it enough to put Knight away? And I'm going to check on a... Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar... No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for! Now, what does this prove? The referee starting the matchup. Oh, and that's one way to get going. And the referee's down already. The match just started. Yeah, fist the cuffs from the opening bell. This thing's going to get ugly. And can the match continue? The ref took a nasty fall. We knew this was going to get out of hand. I didn't realize it was going to happen this quickly. We need to restore some sort of order. Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. To run out of ringside and back to the mat. Ah, oh, jeez. Overhand shots and elbows and forearms striking at will. Every strike more devastating than the last. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, stop right to the hand. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. The stomp in every single part of his body. the nose he can do it here he forces a break before the count of two just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this able to get the advantage here Cross body. oh just gouging the face a ripping and tearing at the face Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Cross is looking to right the wrongs of his first run in WWE. How does he go about resetting his story, so to speak? Pretend it never happened. Cross has never lacked for confidence and faith in his own abilities. If nothing else, he absolutely has the leeway to dish out punishment on his own terms this time around. He should not hesitate to do so. And that was, that could be it. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Ah, 
Dominic gets cut off. And Cross is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Cross finds a way to answer back, and it could be a turning point. And there is no other turn for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Boom! Incredible suplex. Oh, my goodness. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk and dry for a fisherman buster. Into the pit attempt. Two count. No, shoulders up at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Carrying Cross. Cross with the doomsday sight. His shoulders are down. Just kicks out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. He's got the answer for that one. A counter answered by another counter. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. It's that time. A pin drop! He's starting to struggle here. And hanging tough, but beginning... Darian Cross in the corner. Dominic is wounded. Pray for the cross hammer. Dominic in crisis mode. Cover. And they're still in this. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. That act of defiance is only going to provoke Karrion Cross. All from the rope. And Cross is taking command of this one. Cross dishing out a ton of punishment. He has complete faith in his own abilities. And a series of vicious stomps. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give is being brought to the table. Dominic was ready for that. Drop toe hold. Carefully measured. Again? Another knee drop. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Stretching and tearing all the ligaments in the leg. Stomp to the leg. Carrion Cross, watch this power. F10 with the F10, and this is going to be it! And a kick out at two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Listen to this place. It's electric. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. I like this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Goodness gracious. Ah, oh, Dominic gets cut off. Big time knee rocks his opponent. What a clothesline! Ouch! And Cross sustaining more damage there. Carrion needs to shake off the cobwebs and regain poise. Dominic Mysterio has his opponent in place from the 619. Dominic showing off those Lucha Libre influences. This is it. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here is your winner, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. They might not be in the best shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. Coming back after being on the receiving end of an underhanded attack and winning it all? Impressive doesn't even begin to describe it. Some might say Lucky does, though. Oh, no, this is not luck. This is fortitude.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Jinder Mahal at a combined weight of 572 pounds. Veer Mahan and Sunga Indus Sheer. This is a top level team, guys. Each of these superstars could be a main eventer by themselves, but together, they're even better. combined weight of 501 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. There's the bell, and we're about to see the sheer brutality of Indus Sheer. These guys feel they haven't been given the opportunities they deserve. They're here to take what's theirs, and they're doing that with unadulterated aggression. The question is, will their dominance be seen and heard tonight? And listen to the appreciation this Columbus crowd is giving these superstars. Delivering nasty stuff. That was a showing of control and aggression, something they'll want to keep up. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Oh, full speed using their body as a weapon. Went for something, but got a stiff elbow to the head instead. Good Lord, talk about getting drilled. Tag made. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila. Oh, look at the creativity here. He breaks out. the mark. Tag made. Fresh man in. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Stiff headbutt. Good tag. This team working like a well-oiled machine. Oh, my God. This double gut buster, that might have broken some ribs. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is why it's good to have a manager. Good to have an ally who wants you to win as badly as you do. And will introduce any tool to produce victory. Getting set up for something in the corner. Super kick! My 
goodness. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. That didn't go as solo pictured. Gets the tag. Solo Sokoa casting an intimidating look out at the fans. Oh my gosh! He's absorbed some damage already. Plumbing forearm! Big punch finds its mark. Oh, oh, oh what a headbutt. On the mark. Pulled in from belly to belly. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Take off. And nobody's there. Able to evade. Boom! What a right. Gosh. Taking a moment to get pumped. Oh, God. Shoulders are down. Shoulders up. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. Gets him with the counter. Ah, oh, look at this. What a headbutt. He can do it here. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He's determined to keep this matchup going. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh my God, a clothesline. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Draped across the top rope. Nice. Clubbing forearm. Jimmy Uso tags in. See if this is the start of a rally. Oh, right. super kick, a double super kick. He gets out of the way. Body block. Scoop slam. Establishing dominance. Oh, Ooh. what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? What a punch. Oh, had it scouted and met with a back elbow. Body block. And the cover. Quick count out after one. Still not enough to put him away. That's using your head. Oh, that'll weaken your arm. Tag is registered. Tag made. Tag made. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is... He can end it here! He's got him. It's over! It is over! Here are your winners. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. And Desheer got stuck in their tracks in this match. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders.
Sami Zayn is here. And he is all fired up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sami Zayn! There is perhaps no superstar with more heart in WWE than Sami Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, but Sammy will always get back up. Sammy Zayn's a world-class competitor, no doubt about it. He just needs to make sure to get out of his own way tonight. Stay out of his head. Here comes a high-flying feeder. This is going to be fun to watch. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard-hitting truths. I like this guy. This superstar is going to have to put up a massive fight as Sammy's heart means he won't stay down for long. This one's underway, and it seems like Sami Zayn is the crowd favorite here. That's no surprise, Michael. Sami has long been a favorite of the WWE Universe, but it has reached another level as of late, and it's brought his career to higher levels as well. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor! I mean, there's going to be some second-guessing about trying that move again. Blast off! In flight. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Yeah. Oh my God. He was waiting for him to make his move. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Now check this out. This is going to blow your mind. Holy cow, I'm dizzy. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. And that will about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Sammy Zayn. A count out is always a tough way to lose. When it comes down to the record books, a win is a win no matter the conditions. They should still be proud.
everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium! The Imperium is steadfast in their belief that the ring is sacred, that it must be protected from those who aren't true wrestlers. They harshly judge anyone who would claim to be as good as them, and their noses couldn't be any higher in the air. Well, maybe some superstars deserve to be looked down on. Maybe not everyone is as good as Imperium. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's a superiority complex there, Corey. And then there's whatever Imperium has going on. As regimented as a military unit, Imperium will beat you down with ruthless efficiency. It's actually kind of scary. They attack with clockwork timing and precision. From pro football to the Hall of Fame, here comes Farouk. First, from Warner Robins, Georgia, weighing in at 275 pounds, Farouk! You better stay out of Farouk's way because he will run right through you. Yeah, Farouk is a true one-man wrecking crew who was feared in both the WCW and WWE locker rooms. It's time to go big or go and home. Representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. Big E was told for years, you gotta be more serious. But he did things his way, and the result, he made it all the way to the top. Yeah, Big E managed to find an edge while still swiveling his hips. Something I do appreciate about Imperium is that their goal is clear. They're simply here to defend the honor of the ring and dominate the competition. It really is that simple. These are men joined by a shared purpose. They're disciplined, shrewd, and will do what it takes to accomplish what they set out to do. Unfortunately for their opponents, what they set out to do is pull the competition apart limb from limb and leave them battered and broken in the ring. And as their opponents, you need to cut the ring in half. You're facing a team with great synergy. And what he's looking for here looks like... And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. A well-timed dodge. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. And Finchie turning it around. Vinci gets that set right back to him. Kicks directly to the chest. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Big boots! Incredible. This match grinded him down a little. Sharp jab. And series of strikes to the back. He can end it here. Oh, somehow! 
An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. He's turning the tables. Looking for a scoop slam. No, slips behind. Inverted DDT. Just insulting. The ref still counting. Might be a count out. And he gets the tag. Great strength being shown here. Oh, what a shock of the year. Hellacious power slam. Oh, what a close lock. some power out of Farouk. Oh, there's a response against Kaiser. Series of reversals. Tree of Woe position now. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Oh, ouch. Shoulder tackle. Escapes in a nick of time. to make his opponent question his game plan. Counters that. Oh, Kaiser holding him at bay. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's going for it all. From the top. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, a piercing elbow. He may be in a bad way here. And yeah, it's about time to help consider tagging in that partner. Floor. 
Big E responds. Boom! underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. Well, it was a great but well we got another superstar. Uh, I guess adding to the celebration. Appreciation. I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right. One of the hardest hitting high flyers around. Ready for takeoff. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire, and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. The Apex Predator is here. It's hard to believe it's been two decades on the hunt in WWE. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. This may sound hard to believe, gentlemen, but I think Orton might have actually loosened up a little recently. It's more of a relaxed confidence. Randy Orton knows he's at the top of the game. Yeah, but let's not forget, Randy Orton can still go to that dark place when he has to. And you don't want Orton going old school on you.
One of the most methodical superstars in WWE. Every step he takes serves a purpose. Yeah, Randy Orton is always thinking inside that ring and provides no reprieve from the gruesome attacks that he creates. Always a threat with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment, R-K-O. The man they call the Apex Predator is as cutting and ruthless as they come. Randy Orton has all the skills, athletic ability, and killer instinct he needs to turn any opponent into his helpless prey. Orton loves being at the top of the food chain. When it comes to asserting his dominance, he strikes hard and fast. When you tangle with the Viper, you're messing with one of the all-time greats. I'm sure Orton is dead set on victory here in this one, ready to be as venomous as he must be to get the win. And in the opposite corner is second-generation superstar Santos Escobar. Escobar wants to shoot that heavy firepower right out of the gate. Escobar's cold-blooded, a mercenary. And what raises his danger level is his mastery of the Lucha Libre style whenever he chooses to unleash it. Down to Bonin and a double axe handle smash. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh, man. What a nasty STO. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Just one step ahead. <gasps> Orton hooking his opponent. Nice backbreaker delivered by Orton. Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Great reaction from Santos. Drag. We know Randy likes to end matches out of nowhere, but you have to think it's not as simple as that. Absolutely. This could be it. Cover. Gets the shoulder up. Not yet. Tough position to be caught in here. Lands face first. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. One way to get your opponent out of the corner. Arm ringer. Right hand will counter. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. And Escobar didn't see that coming. out of the ring but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here goodness gracious and repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically the stomp in every single part of his body A precise maneuver from the Viper. Nothing kind or gentle about that, Saxton. And Santos looks clueless as to where he is right now. Escobar able to dodge that. Solid contact from the Viper. And Orton now chaining some offense together. Orton just wearing him down now. He has him right where he wants him. Up high. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. And an elbow. Whoa, not quite. Oh, this is one of the most incredible comebacks that I think I've ever witnessed. This Very awesome. impressive. You're absolutely right, Michael Cole. This is what you call stepping up in the moment. Ooh, connects to the back of the neck. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ah, well, here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? It's over. All in a night.
nice work. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. The loss goes to Santos Escobar. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Here comes our Tribal Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried, dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns.
Reigns has all the power in WWE in the palm of his hand. If you want it, come take it. Nobody has done it yet. I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. And his opponents, first from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bates is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bate has remarkable poise to go with the flow. Few competitors can match Bates' in-ring fundamentals. Indeed, a guy who knows his game inside and out. Tyler Bate can keep it high class in textbook or get down and dirty. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! Guys, Shin is a... Expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style. He's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. Triple Threat always a challenging matchup for any superstar. In tonight's bout, we begin with Roman Reigns, Tyler Bate, and Shinsuke Nakamura. No count outs, no disqualifications, no allegiances. If there is an alliance formed during this match at some point, it becomes every superstar for themselves. Only one of the three will end up with their arm raised in a victory here tonight. Delivers an axe handle. into the corner. disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. Oh my god, a 
Close line. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex. As impressive as that was, it has to take something out of us. And he goes for the pin. Almost two and a half. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? It's like I always say, he who has the sledgehammer has the last laugh. Of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Oh my goodness! Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Ooh, nasty kick. Reigns turns that around. Planning on what to do next. Just launched into cover, and he breaks up the count. It's just a matter of time now. The gear, he breaks up the hole. Down he goes. Big four. Kick my gut. Go for the arm bar and a punishing stretch. He's got a kendo stick. A weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. No way Reigns appreciates that version of acknowledgement. Yeah, Shinsuke showed a solid game plan there. He manages to escape it. Drop kick. Oh, man. He's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. A baseball bat with a weapon like that? This is not going to be good. No, no, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Sledgehammer in the midsection will knock the wind out of you. My goodness, the human skeleton shouldn't have to. He thinks he has it. Kicks out. That is just pure instinct at this point. Been placed in the corner now. I don't know what they're looking for here. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. Running Hurricane That should do it right there. Look it up. And the match continues. That's teamwork. Able to get the bait with a kick to the gut. Double under. Tyler Drive. Nakamura could be conquered. Snap suplex, very effective. Oh, what a kick! Vicious. Uh oh, fighting back to the counter. Sequence of reversals there. Chief really having to acknowledge the offense directed right at him at this point. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Power bait, looking to lock it in. He breaks the hold. Reigns hits it! Wow, Reigns nailed it! Is it enough? The cover! Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. this to the floor. He's got one thing on his mind with that chair, and it has nothing to do with lounging. Placing them into the corner. Oh, he knew what was coming. Does he get him here? Kick it out in time. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Looking for a timeout. They don't get any timeouts in a fight. They're just running away. This spells trouble for Bates. And he breaks up the pinfall. Just like that. Roman gets stopped. This has become a monumental clash. There are no breaks on these competitors. The will, the fire, the guts. You can feel their emotion. What a shot. Straight brutality. Competitors dig 
digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Big counter from Reigns. Reigns is going to look to press on the advantage. Reigns isn't allowing that burst of attacks to throw him off his game. The head of the table cinches it in. Now they gave him the submission. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Turning the tables there. Compromised position here. See that? Reigns able to sidestep. Flawless takedown. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Running interference. Oh, what are they doing here? All the way out. Set out, Gord Buster. Hoist it up. Nice suplex. Ooh. Here we go. Nakamura setting up. Kinshasa. It's over. It's all Shinsuke now. Shoulders down. And he stops the count. Tyler's feeling a rush of confidence right now. Inside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Squaring off right by our announce table. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Just take a look at the WWE Universe. They know there is no better place to be than right here, right now. And now gets tossed into the ring. Deconstructing the knee there. Get to the gut. Oh, wait, right. He's able to sidestep there. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. He's looking for an implement of destruction. We got a cover. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Targeting the stomach. Left hand right to the gut. Here he goes for the win. Breaks the count. This is insanity. Did you expect anything less? Avoiding contact. Into the ring again. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Position to be in right now. It could be over here. This is it. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Impressively withstanding the onslaught of the two other superstars to stand tall and have their arms raised here and now. We knew these three would put on a show, but I do not think anyone predicted just how intense this match would be. I think one man did.
The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault. You can feel the anticipation here as Bray Wyatt commands the WWE Universe. A man who always succeeds in unnerving his opponents. A chill hangs in the air. Here comes the Scottish warrior. A man whose mean streak grows by the day. McIntyre answers to no one and fights only for himself. Yeah, Drew is hell-bent on having his arm raised tonight, and I would not want to be the one to stand in his way. has been a journey of redemption, of making up for lost time. Drew has taken titles and main events by force. This competitor is facing an opponent with unparalleled mind games tonight. If he wants to beat Bray Wyatt, he needs to keep Wyatt out of his head. One thing you have to respect about Drew McIntyre is his unshakable confidence. Every time he heads to the ring, he does so knowing he's got all the courage and strength he needs to win the match. It's an attitude that served him well and maybe the ticket to him grabbing another win here. And then we have one of the most unique superstars we've ever seen, Bray Wyatt. There's no way of knowing what Wyatt has in store for his competition, what physical pain or mental anguish he's planning to inflict here in this one. That unpredictable lethality is what has defined Wyatt's career. Like you said, he can strike at your body or your mind with equal precision and savagery. Wyatt loves to climb inside his opponent's heads and slowly tear them apart from the inside out. Getting him into the corner. Close line in the corner. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Wow! Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Oh, uncorked a big punch. And he's able to counter. Tire 
Lars about as formidable a competitor as they come here in WWE. He's a man who can be methodical one moment and explosive the next. I have to imagine it's difficult to come up with a proper game plan when facing off against the Scottish Warrior. Yeah, McIntyre absolutely is not the type of superstar you could put in a neat... Look out! Somersault plancha! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Countered it just in time. Oof. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Put it in a position now. Oh, Ram face first. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh, Bray gets cut off. Shoulders down. And he breaks the count quickly. I didn't think this match was close to over. Oh, God. Oh, and a stop. Ray reverses. Can he do it here? Barely kicks out. Somehow, some way. Wyatt took the worst of that on his face. And it looks like there's a cut, too. Inverted him. Out. Shoulders down. And he powers out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Wow. Belly up, Belly. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stomps. The stomp in every single part of his body. Just a ferocious assault from McIntyre. Drew exhibiting all his power and force. From the top. Elbow drop, good lord. I don't care how much you train, you can't prepare for a commercial airliner to come crashing down on you like that. So, so close, that could have been it. What a blow! Carefully measured right. Boom! Pulling out the enziguri to stop them in their tracks. Uh-oh. Cross the shoulders. Airway crash neck breaker. McIntyre wreaking havoc with his knockout power. Uh-oh. Drag reversal. Makes him pay with a counter. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Oh, uh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? Drew McIntyre is in a bad way. <laughs> and breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Bray can't mount it for the victory here. Kicks out. He still has life. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Insulting. Oh, just turn that around. Back elbow smash. Nothing fancy. Sky high. Diving into the leg drop. Is it enough? The cover. Two. What a match. Drew McIntyre gets the win. Here is your winner. The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. This loss may have fractured Bray Wyatt's psyche further.
This is just what happens when you mess with the Scottish Warrior. Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Us. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Man. Not content with being the right hand anymore, Jey Uso has set out on his own path. And it's a particularly treacherous path these days. There are a lot of men who have a grudge with his actions in the bloodline that are not easily forgotten. Jey Uso is intent on proving himself to those competitors in the entire WWE Universe. Already one of the most popular stars in WWE, but his following grows every single night. And Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable hype. Well, this just went from a match to a fight. Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight. Intensity in the eyes of Dragunov. That's beyond intensity, Saxton. Those are the eyes of a man possessed. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to see Dragunov compete here tonight. Jey Uso, what happened the greatest tag team in WWE history? The Uso set for singles competition here tonight. Jay has proven that he knows how to succeed under immense pressure as an individual, as a solo competitor. He's more than ready for this match. And as we all know, diamonds form under pressure. Jey Uso has been that diamond in the rough here in WWE as of late. But one look into the eyes of Ilya Dragunov and you see that he's more than ready for a challenge. There is a constant fire burning within Dragunov, a ferocity that he can barely contain, that comes out in full force when he's inside the ring. He's truly like a man possessed. 
Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila. Oh, look at the creativity here. He breaks out. And he's able to fight Dragunov off. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Knife edge chop. He's taking some good hits. Dragunov really bringing the fury there. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. He switches it back around. The suplex. And for Ilya Dragunov, it is about that philosophy. Unba Zikbar, the notion that he's undefeatable once he reaches a certain point. The question is, how does he get there? Well, it's this simple for Ilya Dragunov. Just keep fighting. Dragunov fights every day to prove his worth. Unba Zikbar isn't just something that sounds scary. It's something he's earned the right to call himself. He saw it coming. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Super kick! Here's a cover. He narrowly avoids the count. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. The arm absorbing the damage. Just cranking the head. So much damage inflicted. A jarring impact. Dragunov fires back. Big back body drop. Vicious. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Taking this match off the mat now. Launching. Diving hammer strike. Hoisting up their opponent. Body buster. He is just reeling from that offense. And the intensity in every move Dragunov delivers doesn't seem... Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. Pushes through after two. The end was in sight. Slap. It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. Get into the count. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Big back body drop. Uh-oh. Saw an opening and took them off their feet. Now that'll do some serious damage. Drop kick. Oh! Quick thinking pays off. What a punch. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. And Dragunov gets stonewalled. Boom, right across the small of the back. And he slides him back to the mat. Ooh. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Headbutt. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing puzzle. No, he gets the shoulder up. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Oh, there he is. Spear. Will that stop Dragunov? Cover. There's two. He manages to kick out. What strength.
The amount of damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in this thing. Main event, Jey Uso with a close call right there. Torpedo, oh my God! Dragunov might just have it. That's gotta be it. Two. What in the world? An emphatic kick out from Jey Uso. How in the world did he get the shoulder up? And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian will. And this has been one of the most grueling matches we've ever witnessed. This is and it's delivered. And we just saw some serious offense. Ah, what a neck breaker. And Jey Uso had a look of pure malice on his face. Man, big, big victory here tonight. Two incredible athletes gave it their absolute best. And are we going to get... There we go. Some good sportsmanship in the end. Love to see it. 